Hi, it's a quick lesson today, but hopefully very interesting. Okay, so here's a guilty secret of mine. I like watching the Eurovision Song Contest. If you don't know what this is, just Google it. But basically, it's a song competition between lots of different countries and great fun. Well, when I was watching it at the weekend, the UK contestant kept saying this word. Wicked. It's just wicked to be part of something that assimilates positivity. Know. And I thought, I wonder if my students know why he's using this word. So let me explain. If I say to you, am I wicked? Or someone says, you're wicked. What does the word actually mean? Well, the dictionary definition for using the adjective wicked in this way is morally bad or wrong. As in, you're a wicked person. But in this clip, it's just wicked to be part of something that has... The singer means excellent or very good, which of course has the complete opposite meaning. It's an informal slang use of the word wicked, but is now very common in everyday language. Now, words that are spelt the same but have contradictory meanings are called contronyms. They're also known by other names, but this is probably the most common and easiest to remember. There are lots of contronyms in the English language, but today I just wanted to explain a couple which have only recently become popular and are used in our everyday language. So I've given you wicked. Now here are another two. The first one is sick. Of course, the common meaning of sick is when you're unwell. But another common informal use of sick as an adjective is when someone behaves in a cruel and unpleasant way. You can say, they're sick in the head, or that's sick. Well, the modern contronym of sick, when the word has a contradictory meaning, is the informal slang use, meaning very impressive or attractive. For example, your hair and makeup is sick. You look amazing. The next contronym is dope. The common meaning of the noun dope is a stupid person, but it has also recently become a contronym and now is in common use with the meaning cool or very impressive. As in, your new trainers are dope. So now you know the different meanings of these three modern contronyms, wicked, sick and dope. I hope I've improved your understanding of the different ways these words can be used. Now, just for a laugh, listen to this joke. It's a great way to test your understanding of English. A man walks into a pet shop and sees a cute little dog. He asks the shopkeeper, does your dog bite? The shopkeeper says, no, my dog doesn't bite. The man tries to stroke the dog and the dog bites him. Ow! He screams. I thought you said your dog didn't bite. The shopkeeper replies, that's not my dog. <laughs> well, I hope it made you laugh. If you want some more English jokes, have a look at my playlist here. I have added explanations as well, just to help your understanding. Till next time, love and peace.